did you do that for? Uh, do what? Hit me. I didn't hit you. It must have been your cow's tail. Ah, I said I didn't hit you. I believe you. Then why did you hit me back? I didn't. <laughs> really? Do you expect me to believe some object just fell from the stars and struck me? Ah! Mm, it looks like a sesame seed ladu. Ah, oh. <coughs> uh, a jasmine flower ball. That could only mean one thing. We're under attack! <laughs> 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 it's clear. Get in. <laughs> 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 for my breakfast and I like my meat. Well done. If you don't want me to eat your cows, then I will eat you. Who dares to ruin my breakfast? I have not come to ruin your meal, Bakasura, but to improve it. And uh, how do you plan to do that, King Kamsa? Now that you've scared off the cows? By offering you the tastiest morsel of flesh in all the world. My angel of death. <laughs> your angel of death? The one who has killed all of the demons you've sent to destroy him? You want me to be his next victim? What kind of evil joke is this? No joke, Bakasura. Destroy my angel of death, and I will see that you are fed like a king for the rest of your life. Ah. <laughs> Destroy my angel of death, Bakasura. Then you shall feast. Uh, very well. I agree to your terms. Your angel shall be dead before day's end. All glory is to Kamsa's angel of death for saving our cows. Whoever you are, may the gods protect you. We've been walking so long. My feet feel like they're made of stone. Oh, if only there was a path across the lake. Our trip home to Vrindavan would be half as far. Ah, and so much cooler on our toes. Ah, something struck me. Oh, oh, whoever you are, I demand you to stop this instant. Ah, no more, no more. Ah, stop. Ah, we are demons shooting jasmine flower balls. Ah, oh. You cannot hit us behind this bush! Ah. Oh. <laughs> You're wrong, dear Radha. I cannot miss because I was Rama in my previous life. And everyone knows what a deadly bowman Rama was. You're a liar. What did you call me? She said you're a liar. You were never Rama. Rama was a brave warrior. But brave Krishna 
only picks on defenseless gopis. You don't believe me? But I did take the form of Rama. After training to become an expert bowman from the state of Vashishta, I later learned of the great challenge by Maharaj Janaka that whoever could draw back his mighty bow would win the hand of his beautiful daughter, Sita. Hmm? Oh, but whereas thousands of strong men fail to draw the bow, I drew it so powerfully that it snapped in two. Just like that. But after marrying Sita, my father ordered me to leave Ayodhya and roam the terrible forest of Dandaka. There, accompanied by Sita and my brother Lakshmana, I killed all manner of cruel and tyrannical demons. Then, the demon Ravana kidnapped my dear Sita and slew my great devotee, Jatayu. I finally found Ravana in Lanka and with the help of the monkeys, destroyed him. <laughs> And then, I returned home to Ayodhya, where I ruled as king. We all know the Ramayana, Krishna. And that you had no part in it. But it's true. I still roam the forests. But instead of carrying my great bow, I carry this little flute. And instead of making the three worlds tremble in fear with my arrows, I make the fauna and flora tremble in ecstasy with my sweet music. Hmm, I don't think you've convinced them, my brother. Why should anyone believe Krishna's vivid imagination? Maybe if he showed some valor, like that of Lord Rama, we could take him more seriously. Now, if you could build a bridge across this lake to Vrindavan, like Lord Rama built to Lanka with his army of monkeys, then maybe we could believe you. <sighs> There you are, Krishna. And here is your army of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> if a bridge is what you want, then you shall have one. <laughs> I think you will need more than silly daddy loba. <laughs> <laughs> Coming, my dear little friends. Now I have a job for you to do. Build these gopis a bridge across the lake so they may carry their butter and ghee home to Vrindavan. Kamsa's angel of death is nearby. I can feel him. Ah, yes. Now, yeah, this one fits the description of Kamsa's dreaded enemy. And he will be my lunch when I fulfill my promise to Master Kamsa. has found Krishna. Hmm. Indra, shall I slay him with my fire spear? No, Agni Deva. Let us observe for a while longer.
Krishna is deceiving us. Stones cannot float. They must be fake. Uh, 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 I can't lift it. Well, Krishna surely cannot be doing all this magic. All of the stones around here must float. Mm. going to help me, at least stay out of the way. as Lord Rama. I still cannot believe you were Rama in a previous life. Indeed. You're as mischievous as a monkey yourself, Krishna. No wonder they follow your word. Hmm. Radha, Lalita, gather your thoughts and let's go home. Is that all the thanks I get for building you a bridge to Vrindavan? Uh, wait! You must at least pay a toll to cross the bridge. Like, um... Ah, that delicious butter you carry. It's just a harmless bird. Sir's angel of death is but the first tasty morsel of a great feast to come. What has that beast done? We must destroy that foul demon and try to save Krishna before it's too late. Aravata! <laughs> ah, Indra! How nice of you to drop by. To what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from the Devas? We do not bring you pleasure, Bakasura, but vengeance! <laughs>
Your evil is done, Bakasura. <laughs> Survive their weapons, Bakasura, but my fire will consume you. Surely he's dead now. That crazed demon must be immortal. All we can do is. Send prayers for Krishna's return. That's right, flee, cowards! No one can destroy Bakasura! No one! to get excited about. Come, let's take the bridge home to Vrindavan. <laughs> mother! Mother! You won't believe the amazing adventure we had today. Bakasura tried to kill Krishna. Say it isn't so. It's true. Bakasura took the form of a great heron. His sharp beak was as long as a tall tree and hotter than fire. But he was no match for Krishna's incredible strength. We saw Krishna vanquish the demon with his bare hands. These hands, which are softer and cooler than lotus flowers? It cannot be so. You can see the dead demon for yourself, Mother Yashoda on the shore of Setubandha. Krishna snapped his beak as easily as a child splits a blade of grass. Then he saved my dearest Madhu from being bird food. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. We left Mahavan to get away from the harassment of demons. Yet they still attack my little boy. There's no escaping them. Please, Krishna. From now on, just stay home. Don't go to the forest anymore. There are men who can tend the cows. All these stories about my heroic exploits are just lies. Isn't that so? Could be Lord Rama? <laughs> <laughs> 